Hey, welcome back, everybody. My next guest is an actor and star of the FX TV show, Pose. All right, look, what I'm about to tell y'all stays here. All right. A few years ago, Electra had a client who overdosed and died. She knew if she called the cops, she would go to jail for life, even if she didn't do nothing wrong. That's how they do us. Yeah, but what they got to do with the trunk anyway? <laughs> oh, <laughs> Nah, 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 he ain't in there. Yo, this is some up <laughs> OK, well, we need to move this trunk in case the police come sniffing around. What are y'all waiting for? Let's go. Please welcome to A Late Show, MJ Rodriguez. Hey, MJ. Hey, y'all. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well. Thanks for being here. Uh, thank you for having me. I'm so glad to, like, officially be back. Well, here's the thing, is that people may not know, this is the first time that I've interviewed you, but this is not your first time on the show because you were here in July of 2018 with Janelle Monet performing her song, Americans, which was a great performance there. You are right there. <laughs> Well, That's it's me, a great me. it's a great stage. It's a wonderful place to perform. What was what was your experience like the first time here at the Ed Sullivan? It was so good at that theater. I just like came in and it was just so welcoming and comfy and I mean, it just felt comfortable being on that stage. Like, the energy that's there is great. And um, I'm a true fan of your show. I did not know that I would be allotted the opportunity to be on, on the show. And I was just so excited. So I'm glad that I'm back. Oh, well, so are we. Now, you, you are on the cover of, uh, of magazines now, including, let's see what we got here. This is uh, the cover of the Pride issue of Entertainment Weekly. Uh, yeah. you, you also star as Blanca in Pose, which is in its third and final season. Now, I've done TV shows that have run for years, and mm -hmm. it's great to get the gig, and it's great to make all of these friends and really, like, fall in love. And I know it can be hard to end. How does it feel knowing that this show that has been so successful is ending? Um, It's just, it's bittersweet. It's sentimental. I'm extremely emotional. I literally had a breakdown like yesterday. Not like a, a breakdown, like, you know, just like cutting my hair off or anything, clearly. But like, I had like <laughs> the, the cry with the napkin in my bathroom and I just like shedded, you know, what Blanca has meant and what she's meant to me. I didn't know that she was gonna like really impact me that way. So like, it's kind of crazy how it's it's ending, but I'm I'm loving how we just ended it and it's it, it couldn't have ended greater. So I'm really happy with what we've done. Did you did you have any experience with ballroom culture before you did this show? I did, I did. Um, when I was 14 years old, I actually went into the ballroom scene while I was like going to acting classes and going to like school at the same time. I made sure I took my butt to New York City to like delve into the ballroom scene. Um, I was a little bit of a bystander at the end of my years. I went in voguing and then I kind of like took a back stand because I was a little bit nervous. Mm -hmm. But um, yeah, I've been involved for a very long time, about four years. What does it take to be great at that, at the ballroom scene? What does it take, what does it, what, what does it take to be great at voguing? Uh, uh, a lot of precision, a lot of practice, and um, a lot of confidence. You have to be able to go out on that stage and, or on the floor, as the ballroom kids would say, and just like go out there and serve it. And um, I had my moment, you know, I got cut when I walked runway. And after that, I was like, I'm not run walking runway anymore, but I'll vogue instead. So um, you have to make sure you bring a lot of confidence when you go out there. <laughs> now, I understand that your 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 name or your nickname, MJ, uh, mm -hmm. it's your initials, but there's a nerdy reason behind you going by those initials. Yeah, so my full name is Michaela Antonia J. Rodriguez, but I was like, how can I make it smaller? And I remember watching Spider-Man when I was younger with Kirsten Dunst and um, Tobey Maguire. And I remember them calling her MJ. And I was like, oh my God, I wanna be like her. That's my, that's the initials of my name. I think I gotta find it. And they were, they were in my name. And I was like, I wanna be like Mary Jane. So mm -hmm. that's how I got my nickname. We have to take a quick break, but we'll be right back with more MJ Rodriguez.